The next task in Brian and Debbie's garden transformation was to deal with the side entrance. With a concrete slope already dug out, the lads set about preparing the area for my mini courtyard design. With the area flattened, we built steps at either end and put in mini retaining walls to contain the altered levels. The next job was to choose the materials for my paving design. Both Brian and Debbie were keen to use salvage in their cottage garden, so I'd come to Collingham near Newark in search of something a bit special for the side entrance area. Salvage can be real fun to use in the garden and is a great way of individualising your plot and it gives you a chance to use your imagination. These are most unusual. What are these? These are off a uh, gable end of a building. White ter terracotta plaques. White terracotta? Yeah. They'd have been facing the gable end of a building. So? Do you think we could use those for paving? So I'm thinking if we set them down in our squares and then planted times and things in here, they could look very nice. They're just so unusual. And then we've got the uh, the hexagon shape again terracotta red terracotta tiles mm, very nice aren't they nice and chunky a good yeah. depth to them lovely color you reckon they're hardy well they've probably come from inside an old kitchen yes um for outside i should uh, seal them just to be on the safe side it's always a problem isn't it when you bring materials from inside to outside and then they, they're so dry they suck up all the water and in the first frost they just burst that's correct yeah so you reckon a matte sealer would solve the problem yeah just to be safe yeah they are very nice i'm just wondering the unusual shape how they would fit together what sort of pattern we could do we've got um a checkerboard of paving and we've got lots of 600 by 600 squares which right. i like to fill in and we want them different so it's like a patchwork effect I'm just thinking how these would fit into a 600 by 600 unit. 50, 55, yes, that works well. That would work into my module nicely with a little border around the edges. Yeah. Great. This one. Let's go and get some more. Okay. These are nice, aren't they? Because they're a, a small brick, a thin brick, and I could lay them on end. Yeah, well, they're yeah. actually floor pavers, they are. Uh, but you could stand them on the end. They've got a nice smooth finish and nice colour. It's just another size unit to work to, and I could do them in a basket weave pattern or something like that. Yeah, certainly. At around £500, these materials may seem expensive, but we will save time and money by keeping the rest of our paving design very simple. I've had a really successful morning's work here and I've got a fantastic haul of old materials to form a great side entrance to the cottage. The idea was to lay a checkerboard paving design using plain reconstituted stone slabs, nothing too fancy. Then we could infill with our salvaged gems to create real focal points within the paving. Simple, but very effective. How are you finding this then? Yeah, I really want to have a go, but Todd's just taking over now. He won't let me use the tools. Look, he's keeping them all outside. It's too much like good fun, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. 
We've got to go to the centre, shall we? If you put too much mortar underneath, then as we're going to have to bash it down, it's going to push the others out. And let's float it a bit, just get it a bit flatter, otherwise it's going to be sitting in a well. It's a very simple flower pattern, and I think it will work quite nicely because it's very different from all the brick patterns we've got. There's something quite like Yeah, it's quite pretty, isn't it? Try it then. Well, we can, we've got to blame. If it wasn't completely level, well, we'll soon find out. Easy to adjust. Here, they'd be nice out of the way, but we can just look at them. So you don't get lots of foot traffic over them because they're not level on the top. And I don't think they'd take them up and walking over either. We'll just put a nice, creepy little low plant in there, and then we'll have gravel all the way around the sides where you're more like. An easy way to disguise an ugly drain. It's going to look really good. I'm, I've been looking forward to this area more than anything in the garden because, as you can remember, we had that horrible slope, a concrete slope, and you know it's going to be transformed to this. So this is going to be great. It's going to work well. Getting rid of the slope has, has done a lot, hasn't it? Because you just couldn't use a sloped area. Oh, no. at all. It wasn't practical mm. at all. Now it's a, sort of like a usable tiny courtyard yeah. straight outside the kitchen yeah. door, which is the best place yeah. to have it, isn't it? With a bit of gear fixed to point the joints, our new terrace was ready to be planted up. And the odd piece of salvage placed among the plants really added to the cottage feel. Round again, I think. I think that's. Like One thing I hate more than anything else is spotty planting when it doesn't really pull together. And a very simple way to pull plants together is to colour coordinate them. And here we've got the wonderful backdrop of these pale lilac walls. So I've picked up on that and chosen it for my planting too. To start with, I've got this beautiful Hebe, Hebe Red Edge. Beautiful plant, evergreen, and has this wonderful tinge to the leaves. Then to go with it, we've got the French Lavender, Lavender Stachius Papillon. Beautiful colour plants, lilac theme again. Looks so good and it smells divine. Finally, a real gem is the shrubby germander, this one, Teucrium fruticans. Ever grey foliage all year round and it keeps a nice tight shape if you clip it well and it has these wonderful pale blue flowers. So the three work really well together, they work with the walls and we're going to use them in repeated groups all the way around the courtyard so it will pull the whole space together. Next time we turn our attention to the frontage of Cherry Tree Cottage and screen off the conservatory. And at last, we plant up and complete Brian and Debbie's entire plot. <laughs>